my channel. I am joined by beauty, I don't even know how to introduce this woman to you. <laughs> beauty extraordinaire, absolute powerhouse oh and I am so grateful and honoured to be sitting next Thank to you. you. I mean it, this is Huda Beauty. You're a powerhouse. Huda Katana Oh Spot. my god, you're a powerhouse. Um, Literally I told you, I'm, I asked trying. you for bronzer because I've been trying to get your bronzer and it keeps falling out. <laughs> and I keep buying shades that are not my shade. <laughs> I've got them. I'm just trying to try it. I've got the back for you. But it's you know, so we're going to start with this. So you've been at this for 10 years. You're the busy, one of the busiest women that I know. You've oh, done back-to-back you. -back events. I've literally just witnessed one right now. So <laughs> I feel like who do need some of the Scottish nectar. Yes. And you might ask what that is. Scottish nectar. What is that? This is iron brew. This is iron brew? Is so, it alcoholic? No, <laughs> it's not. Well, it's like a soft drink. It's like oh. it's like fizzy juice. You oh. call it fizzy juice. Oh, I just. I'm gonna. Does anyone not have? I can do it. I have nails. Oh, no, uh, yeah, I have go. nails. I want you to tell me what it tastes like. I'm actually jealous. I've got water here. Do you want me to share? No, no, no. You, you sure? can have it. No, I'm you so sure? excited. So just cheers. 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 Cheers to us. Cheers, cheers to, to us. you. Cheers to you. <laughs> cheers to you and me. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Yeah. Let's smell it first. Ooh, it smells like punch. This is this is a Scottish tradition. It's. Oh, I really like this. Do you? Wait, what is that flavor? No this reminds me of my childhood. Guess. Does it? Yeah, I don't know why. There's a few things that people. There's say. a root beer twig in it. It's almost like an orange root beer. That's yeah. what it tastes like. So that some some people call it. They think it tastes like tutti frutti. Oh my god, I really like it. But I think that they just say that so Scottish people say tutti frutti because it sounds <laughs> tutti frutti. Right? It tutti sounds frutti. Yeah, I love it. I love the Scottish accent. <laughs> it's the cutest thing I've ever heard. I want to go to Scotland just to be next to you and to like. Scottish we have an open door policy for oh my you. God, I love it. I've got the. Uh, you've probably been asked these questions before, but I'm okay. just really interested. Oh, sorry. You can ask me anything. <laughs> this moment, I know we're recording it, but it's also for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I actually. So when I was writing these questions, it's just things that I really want to, to know about you. So everyone's journey into beauty is different, and I yeah. just wondered what yours looked like. Yeah. So how did you first find makeup, or, or yeah. maybe it was fragrance, maybe it was, yeah. I don't know, I remember stealing my mum's body. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because um, my mom actually wasn't so into makeup, yeah. my sister was. Yeah. My mom actually was like one of those natural people, she would just like, you know, like put yogurt on her face, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like honey on her face, and you know, but I actually started um, using my sister's makeup products, and the thing that I remember I fell in love with, this is like not a surprise, was like lip liner, yeah, yeah. Revlon, no, okay. and lipstick, that was the first thing. But I actually got into makeup, um, I don't know if, I've ever, if you've ever heard this, but I got into makeup because um, I just felt really ugly as a kid. So I was like, I wanted makeup to make me feel better, and yeah. I, I loved it, I fell in love with it, it made me feel so good, and I was just like living like this this life where I was like, oh, I'm just like playing with makeup, experimenting, yeah. expressing myself. It's so sad that you felt like that, but yeah. by feeling like that and then now having your empire, just think of how many people that have felt like that that's that you've the helped thing. Yeah, through so your many, brand and through talking about this. So many people still feel like that. And that's yeah. like the thing that's so sad, you know, so many of us, you yeah. know? I mean, as beautiful as you are too, I'm sure you have days. Totally. You know I, what I mean? In high school, uh, no, I wasn't one of the, the beautiful, popular kids. I don't let's believe that. No, I promise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you definitely were the beautiful one. Definitely. <laughs> Unless everybody in Scotland looks like this. I don't know. <laughs> I love that answer. It's very raw and very real. Yeah. And that, for me, is very you. It's, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize it at the time, but, like, that's what was, like, driving me so much in makeup. It was like, I wanted to like learn more. Don't get me wrong, I have two passions. Obviously, like I love my daughter, I love my family. Yeah. But two of my biggest passions that I'm like so weirdly curious about is like business. I just so fascinated with business. Yeah. But beauty, I'm so fascinated with like makeup and the tricks and the hacks. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know about you, but I feel like a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. all the time when I'm, when I'm watching things, I just feel like I'm a child, like learning and absorbing, I love it. Do you know for me, and I've, like, never, I've never thought about this before, but I was obsessed with mixing things together to wow. see what would happen. Oh so I don't know whether that's actually one of my one of my questions for you. Which um, I wonder if that's why you created your brand. Well, I've, I've never thought about that, but I'm you sure. know, it all stems from somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. One of my quick fire questions, actually, which I just want to ask. Wait, are you yeah. telling me now? It was one quick fire question, but I think it's such a good question okay. that maybe. I want to ask it. Okay, yeah, maybe it's not a quick fire question. Yeah. Um, do you prefer making products or launching products? I think making is more fun, to be honest. 
Because sometimes, you know, I we agree. make products that we don't launch, but we're still having fun. Yeah. I was actually talking to some influencers downstairs and I was like, they were like, what products do you use? I was like, I use a lot of other brands, yeah. but I do use a lot of samples that sometimes I'm just making from the labs. Yeah, yeah. That I'm just like playing with. Like, I'm like, I don't know if I'm ever going to launch this. Let me just make something because I want to make it. And especially before COVID when we used to go to the labs and we used to just like play. Yeah. You, must love, you must love mixing makeup. I'm so glad that that was your because that my is the exact same. And also I think that there's something about pouring your heart and your soul oh, yeah. into something and it just being for you in that yeah. moment yeah. because when you then push it out into the world it's so exciting and the fact that you know people will fall in love with yeah. it and become their favorites yeah. that's so special but there's something special about having something that you've made yeah. that you think exactly. is so good I'm sure you've done this but yeah. like have you gone to the labs and actually made the makeup yeah yeah I know there is chemists who are so wonderful what they do yeah. but I just feel like you know some of my favorite products have been the ones that I've personally gotten into the you know, the lab, mix the pigments, put it in a blender, mix the formulas together, bake them myself. Yeah. Those are my favorite shadows within the palettes. Within, you know, yeah. like, I don't know, there's something special about doing that. I think it's so hands on. And yeah. you, that's literally been there for every single yeah. part of the process from yeah. conception to making it to launching it and then yeah it just, it it just changes itself. things right yeah it's like touching right i was actually telling my team this because like right now we're making palettes and like we cannot go to some factories yeah. and i'm like I just this is not the right color like i need to go there the back and forth yeah and, and oh you know what i'm talking oh my god I, I, you cry oh. so, you <laughs> people know. don't know how painful it is mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes years to make products how, yeah. how long does it, does it take um, the, the, i think the bronzers so weirdly i had already made my blush formula oh yeah which i loved yeah. so i tweaked that formula to make it work for a bronzer so that one i had oh, a really smart. good base that's so smart yeah so i tweaked the shimmer because that's of so the, smart so that for me yeah. and also there was something you were about, about it ahead of time. Yeah, you were like yeah. i'm ready to do that ahead of time. so it made me really excited because i know that i knew that people loved our blush yeah. formula so, so change beautiful. it around and make it bronzer so it, it, i had faith in the product from the get-go i'm so wobbly in myself sometimes Aww. i'll look i'll finish a product love it and and then the next day I'm like, but maybe not, maybe it's not Aww. the one. So I need to have more gusto, I think. Yeah, and I think you always will feel like that. You can improve everything, no matter what. Yeah, You absolutely. know, but it's like, you know, my sister actually, Mona, Mona's really smart. Yeah. <laughs> She's very smart. <laughs> she told me something a long time ago and um, it really stuck with me and I really needed to hear it. It was the beginning of my career. So maybe this is like, yeah. it's not the beginning of your career. Well, it is kind of the beginning. <laughs> it's, not the it's the beginning because you're gonna go off and do so many things. So like, I it mean, feels I like 18 that. months in. Yeah. Well, you're more than 18 months in but you know you're still early in the trajectory of everything we all are anyways okay we'll just tell you the advice <laughs> <laughs> she told me a long time ago because i i'm a perfectionist and i always want everything so perfect mm -hmm. and i always want to plan so much and i like to put so much effort into everything before we do everything she told me a story about um microsoft versus who was it, it was a microsoft versus facebook or something okay, okay. It, was, it was it was something it was like the different ways that they did things so she was like microsoft just launches things and then they do the they, they release the second version of the improved thing. okay you know what i mean okay. she was like you'll never be satisfied just so you know you'll never be satisfied okay launch it and then if you need to make changes you can always make changes but that's yeah. going to take a few years you know which i thought was really good advice because um you know at the time it wasn't products it was just like content and, and parties that we were doing and i just like i was i was struggling to even do them because I was like, it's just not good enough. I always wanted it to be better. And she was like, just put it out there and you can make it better as you go. And I think it's it's a good advice. Yeah, it's good advice. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> storing that. <right> there. <laughs> you mentioned your daughter. Yeah, she's so sweet. I can't believe that you're a mum and then you have this empire as well. And I know <laughs> I know a lot of people, that I'm sure you've been asked this a million times as well, because I think that people just want like an answer, like what's the secret. <laughs> but is there anything that you've found that really does help the balance between mum life and work life? This answer might suck. You might hate this answer, mm -hmm. but it's it's the truth. I am very, very, very diligent with my time. That's just the reality. It's not, there's no secret answer. There's no like, I'm like good at anything. I really care about every single minute of my day. So it's like, I don't waste time on things that I, you know, like I, I, this sucks. This is like a shitty answer. I don't have a big social life. I invest all my time in my family, in my team, in the company, every element is either in bettering myself personally mm -hmm. or bettering the company or bettering my family. I remember talking to some people and I was talking to a friend of mine and we were trying to meet up for a business reason and um, I kept canceling on him and I hated doing that. Yeah. I just couldn't get time in my schedule. We weren't even able to, to get to the point where we were putting like a time in the schedule. And he was just like, 
I get it, you're busy, but everyone's busy, Hedda. Like, everyone's busy. I'm like, bitch, you're traveling all across the world for fun. Don't tell me everyone's busy. I've sacrificed a lot for yeah. my business and, you know, my family. It's a tough thing, but I've, I've, I really care about every single minute. I care about every single minute of the day. That was one of the things that I found when I first launched V. I think that there was a real glamour over mm. being a business yeah. owner. Right. That, and then, <laughs> and then when, when you realise actually what it's, it's like. so hard. And there's, there's some parts yeah. of it that are unbelievable and it's things yeah. that you would never be able to do yeah. if you didn't have this business and to have your team. And yeah. there's moments that feel really surreal, but how hard yeah. it is was quite shocking to me. Yeah. Don't no, think I was blind walking into it, but I just thought... The dedication is intense. Yeah. I'm really curious if you were starting the business from from scratch... Or Nowadays? You could, or, 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 well, or you could talk to yeah. Huda when she was first starting the business. If there was one oh bit of gosh. advice, I know yeah. it's a lot. Again, one but, answer for everything. Do you know what I would tell her? I would tell her it's going to be okay. Like, I know you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel right now, and you are struggling so bad and you are hoping so bad that the business will take off but you got to trust the process things that are not working now are not supposed to work you yeah. need to learn what is meant for you to learn right now everything will be okay and then i would also tell her stop sabotaging yourself you are good enough <laughs> who told you those crazy ideas yeah <laughs> who told you i, I, like I would should, shake her you should i don't know how we would do this but a little mini <laughs> hooda for everyone on their shoulder <laughs> and tell them those things would be I would buy it. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Product. Um, yes. three, you've got three different people in front of you. Mm -hmm. Someone that's never shopped Huda Ooh. before. Okay. What one product would you give them? From Huda Beauty? Yeah. Ooh. Are they glam person? They haven't mm, tried Huda Beauty? Yeah. Let's say, let's say they're glam. Let's they're say they're glam. glam. Faux filter concealer. Yeah. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter how much glam you like. I think faux filter concealer. I yeah. love it's it. It's a good one for everyone. It's very good. Oh, it's so happy you like it. It's really good. Concealer is hard, by the way. Are you working in concealer yet? You've got your second customer. <laughs> what are they? What are they? Uh, pro makeup artist pro makeup that's artist. never had Huda, but they need something, one thing in their kit. I would say Easy Bake. Okay. Yeah, Easy Bake. It's one that all the makeup artists tell me they love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get comments. You do all see the time. it. I love the yeah. in the videos that you, that you guys repost. Yeah. It's always makeup artists using Easy Bake. They love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the it's the one thing that people always come up to me, especially. Um, I feel like people who do love makeup. Yeah. They always tell me about Easy Bake. Yeah. They okay. come up to me. About Really yeah, good, yeah, really yeah. good. Um, your third customer, it's the biggest day of their life, whether that be graduation, wedding day, Ooh. biggest birthday, I don't know, but it's their most important day of their life. One product to be in their makeup routine. I've had a beauty as well? Yeah. Oh my God, biggest day of your life. Biggest day of your life. Oh my God, what do I tell Pressure them? Pressure on your shoulders. I know, I'm like, what do I tell them? <laughs> oh man. I don't know if they would like this answer, but I'm a firm believer in the original Faux Filter foundation as well. Yeah. Like, I really love it. I know it's never going to move on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means that you can count on it on that yeah. biggest day of your life. There and you go. Photographs and looks yeah. in person both really well. Okay. I remember when I was um, when I was doing um, you were a makeup artist before too, yeah. right? Yeah. I used to do makeup for campaigns, mm -hmm. like for the magazines, and I wasn't comfortable doing wedding makeup. And then when I got pregnant, I had to transition from you know photography to wedding makeup. Yeah. And the transition was really hard. I was like, I need something that looks good in person and photos. Totally. You I know was, what I mean? I was talking about this yesterday. So my makeup artist days, I would do 12 clients a day mm. on Friday and Saturday. And they would be getting their makeup done sometimes at like nine in the morning that had oh to last God. until night time. Oh and God. then sometimes I would get a text message saying, Jamie, my makeup still looks perfect. I'm Your makeup is so beautiful. Thanks. You also don't look like you have any pores. How is that possible? <laughs> what are you wearing on your face? I need to know. Wait, can I ask you the same question? Yeah, yeah, Wait, oh my what's God, your okay. favorite, What's your favorite Vive product? So the, I think the reason that this product's yeah. my favorite is because of the feedback yeah. and mm -hmm. the diversity in our customers that all love it from different ages and different, you know, different gender, Jack wears it. Our Skin Nova primer is unbelievable. Is that why you don't have pores? <laughs> well, I, do you know what, it's with skincare benefits in this product are oh unbelievable. God. I've got one for you. Okay, I need that. I've got one for you. It's hard to get your products. Yes, it is just now. It's we're DTC at the moment. Oh. Pretty much. We're on cult. We're on cult beauty. Yeah, I bought you off cult. Did you? Wait, I think. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Cult beauty. Yeah. We launched two weeks after we launched yeah. our own DTC, and we're in Harrods Beauty in Edinburgh, Newcastle, and then yeah. Brown Thomas Dundrum. You're, in, not, you're in London too, right? Next month. Oh, oh my god! Are bridge. you so excited? We're, we're going at the Harrods Night's Bridge. Oh my bridge. god, you're so excited. Yeah, Are you going to do an event there? Yeah. You have to do an event there. Oh my god. Well, I want to be here for that. I want to be here for that. I want to come see you. 
no, I'm, I'm really excited. Oh I can't believe God. it. Congratulations. Nice. It's so much work. Like, people don't realize all the work that goes into this. You know, and it's like, it's like giving birth to like a baby. It's very, I I, I'm finding it very cathartic talking to you about this no. because it's, 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 it's just really you. nice. So your favorite product is a primer. Yeah. Okay. Somebody who is a person who has not tried your brand yet. Okay. It's the biggest day of their life. What do you recommend for them? Do you know what I think? I would say our eye ones for the same reason that you said full filter because they mm. don't move. So they're mm. eyeshadow sticks that you sketch on the eye, buff out, and then they set down. Is that what you're um, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want your face. Give me, give me whatever you're using. I want I all of it. You it. I'll take all of this. <laughs> whatever this is. Whatever you want. Okay, last question. Mm -hmm. I know you're wearing a lot of samples mm -hmm. of other things you're trying. <laughs> Can you hint yeah. to the viewers? Do you know what I Anything? I, I actually have one to show you. Oh my god! That I want you to see in real life oh you, for the first time. Jack, can Wait, you, I know what it is. Yeah, maybe. It's an eyeliner. Yeah. I, I can tell from the way you went like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> so the, bo the box is battered because this is my I don't only. care. You know what it's like when you've got one it. Are you pump. kidding? No. Are you kidding? This is for me? Yeah. When does this launch? Uh, the 7th of July, TBC, oh my God, it is hopefully, so the, black. hopefully the 7th of July, we'll see. Oh my see. God, literally, your eyeliner is so black. Oh my God, it's so black. Yeah, there it goes. Ooh, there it goes. Holy shit. Oh my God, look how black that is. <laughs> oh my god. So I've been is wearing this for months, yeah. Made, made in Japan. I love the component because it's got that ergonomic. Oh my god. And vegan, here. cruelty free. Yeah. I love this so much. I love the packaging too. Like how the I packaging saw. is gorgeous. Do you know I actually kept the outer pack when I bought Did the bronzer because I just thought it was so beautiful. I don't know, there's something so sleek and sexy about this. I actually didn't know it was your brand right away. Did you know? No. Cool. And I was like, Vive. I was like, and then Ollie was like, oh no, Vive is from Genevieve. And I was like, what? That was one of my the things about creating the brand that I was yeah. really excited about. I wanted a brand yeah. that if you didn't know me it didn't That's matter. Cool. That you would find a brand that you would that you would like, yeah. but then for my audience to Very know it's chic. mine. Yeah. You know what's so funny is like you can tell it's yours <laughs> if you know you. For sure. <laughs> like you can see like, you know, the sexiness, like the also the like, you know, you're dope. So there's like a dope factor there. <laughs> you can tell me the packaging is hers. Hundred percent. If you know you. I'm but if you don't, you're like, what is this sexy brand? <laughs> we have some quick fire questions, which okay, is what I'm, I'm excited about. And I'm going to read them out for both of you. Rapid fire questions. First one. You cats answer or, first. I and then I'll, okay. okay. Cats or dogs? I like both. Dogs. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Tea. Coffee. <laughs> night in or a night out? Night in. Night in. <laughs> <laughs> bold lip or a bold eye? Bold eye. Bold eye. Bold eye. Beach or city? Beach. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to know what she's going to say. This is a good one. Instagram or TikTok? I like Instagram again. I didn't like it, now I like it again. I'm spending more and more time on TikTok. Yeah, everybody. everybody like, it's, it. I, I'm interested to talk to you about that because yeah. it's, it's the craziest I one. I hated Instagram during COVID and now I love it again. Yeah, well, actually, I'm loving your Instagram right now and all you. your reels and stuff. I'm loving I like reels. I like reels. Which is kind of like the yeah. TikTok of Instagram. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> online shopping or in store? Online. Online. Are you kidding? We're good online shoppers. Yeah. Really She's good. D to C right now. <laughs> yeah, we're all good online shoppers. <laughs> oh my god, that was the best. Amazing. Right, I'm Wait, but I want to ask some questions. Okay, for fire. Fire. Can I ask some questions? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. No, I just want to know what's your favorite food. <laughs> what's your favorite food? Your favorite? Italian. Italian. I love Italian. Italian. So me, me and Jack got married in Italy, oh and it was god. it was so good. I was wondering if you guys were married. I was like, I yeah. feel like you guys look like a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like young and young. I need my husband in my Instagram husband. Can you please tell him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he because he's still such great photos. He's taking on a big job. <laughs> I know, I know. But honestly, it's like it's an investment in your future. Yeah, That's yeah. The best. So yeah. Jack also works with Vive, taking product photography, oh my uh, God. campaign shoots and, and videos and things like How that. How cool. And That's like Jen Atkin and Mike too. Yeah. Mike and Jen. They're like, the other, they're like this yeah. like power couple as well. I yeah. love to see power Two couples like that. Yeah. What's amazing. your star sign? It's a fan. Everybody keeps asking. What do you think it is? I'm very obvious. Oh my God, is it really obvious? What are you? <laughs> I'm a cancer. <gasps> You're a cancer? And where's the cancer? Oh, yeah, when's yeah. When's your birthday? 25th of June. So it's 25th of June. We're going to start today. 25th of June. Oh, my God. I love you so much. I knew I loved you. I didn't know why. I love you so much. Oh, my God. Okay, I really want to take you home. I like taking you, you home. Come on, I'm going to go, like, oh my God, you're attached. So <laughs> okay. Who are you? Um, I'm a Libra. Oh my gosh, so my rising's in Libra. Oh my god. Yeah, Libras are great. My rising is a Virgo, which I Oh my god, me? No, my moon's a Virgo. Your moon's a Virgo. I think my moon is Leo. <laughs> that makes sense, that makes yeah. sense. 
Pedra, thank you so thank you, much. Thank you, Tara. I could sit and talk to you forever. Uh, I, okay. I've had the best time. Thank You're you, so inspiring. Thank you. You are too. So warm. Do you know, it's you just for me to meet you, someone that's done so well, so successful. So are you. And for, but you have such a good soul. Oh, you're so And sweet. it just, for me, I'm, it's really inspiring. Same though. You have such a beautiful soul. You're doing so great. And I know the brand's only going to go boop. Oh, this guy, rocket ship. So guys, I hope you loved the video. Thank you again, Huda. Thank I will make sure and, and link everyone. I mean, I don't think Aww. that I need to, but I will. <laughs> Thank uh, you. And other than that, I will see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, look, yeah. it says I'm doing a workout. <laughs> I'm not no. doing a workout. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm. Oh my god, what am I talking about? <laughs> this video! I'm gonna all shine now. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined with Huda. 